Tonight we hang with Mummy Lodi Sundown's second princess Pearl Nele for the day. Hi, I'm Pearl Nele, Miss Mummy Lodi Sundown's second princess 2011. Um, during the day, I work as Public Relations Officer at International Bank Vault in Santin and I'm a huge Mamelodi Sundown fan. What I love about my job is meeting new people. Every day, there's someone new who wants to be part of IBV um, and it's, it's very exciting and organizing events as well, very, very exciting for me. Basically, I entered Miss Mamelodi Sundown because um, I thought it would be a platform for me to do more charity work. It was my first pageant. It was scary, but very enjoyable. You know, it helped me to build my confidence. Even though I didn't win the crown like the queen, but I was still very excited about being second princess, about being part of the family. Being crowned second princess is not only an honor, but comes with some hefty prize money. Both position and privilege were treated with a maturity by Pearl way beyond her years. So it was very important for me not to waste the money. So I invested in the things that were most important to me. So um, basically what I did first was um, I paid off my school fees. And then secondly, I helped my mom fix up the house. And then thirdly, I gave my sisters uh, a little bit. And I also bought my dad pajamas. And then I put a deposit down for this baby over here, my Sandawana. <laughs> and so I'm grateful. And I also had a bit left, so I invested it. I'm grateful to the president, Mr. Patrice Mazepe. I'm grateful to his wife, Dr. Precious Mazepe. I'm very, very grateful. One of Pearl's favorite pastimes, she tells us, is hanging out with her friends at 8 in Santon. My friends are very important to me because they, they also help keep me sane. You know, when I'm stressed, they'll always be there to listen. Even when I didn't win the pageant, you know, I second princess, they were there to mostly me like, that's amazing, you, you came in top three, it's your first pageant. I told her to go for it. I know my friend has is, is got a lot of talent and a lot of people can see it. What I really enjoy about Pearl, she's got a really funny side to her. Like, very, very like, like even, when, even when she doesn't try, like... Pearl's always doing something. She's always got something going on. You can never be bored. There's a story after story after story. <laughs> I knew she was going to be... Um, you know, she's gonna be in the top three, whether she was placed first or second, I was in there, but then I know that she did best. There has to be a first for everything, and for our Brazilian beauty, it was her first venture into the warm and friendly Limpopo province for the final game of the season. I'm very excited to go to the Peter Malcaba Stadium. It's my first time in Limpopo. It's different, it's not like Joburg. It's a beautiful stadium. I didn't expect this. But yeah, I just think it's going to be exciting and yeah, I only have positive attitude. Is this your brother? Okay, he's not talking to me. Is he scared of girls? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is a real supporter. <laughs> Lesson learned, Pearl. Try not to disturb a VIP during an important game. You know what? I love VIP. It's nice to know that I can go into VIP, but the vibe is not here. The vibe is down there, you know? The real supporters are down there. I want to be dancing and singing. I love the family at Sundance, you know? Um, I've met a lot of people in Sundance, uh, being um, second princess of Sundance, and there's a sense of family, you know? And the warmth, the love. I, I love that, you know? It was amazing, hey? The experience was amazing. I mean, the, the, the atmosphere from the supporters. Um, VIP was nice at first, but then when I went down to the, the other supporters, wow, it was amazing. Um, you, you, you get um, excited for every goal that goes in and every goal that's about to go in, and your heart sinks when the other um, team scores, and when your team doesn't score, it's just, oh, it's amazing. It's just an amazing feeling, you know? It's unpredictable, and which, which is what I love about the game. Sundown's Trans Celtic 3-1 in Limpopo, and Sky's the Limit is proud to say it had the honor of spending the last game of the season in the company of this KZN princess. Let's do it again soon.